To get some interesting tech tutorials and hacks, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Subscriptions are always free. Also check out my blog at techdjday.blogspot.in wherein I have posted some really interesting tech tutorials. I'll leave the link in the description. Hello everybody and in this video tutorial I am going to be showing you how to install and run Tor browser in your Linux operating system. So a few months ago I made a video on how to use Tor browser in your Windows operating system. So in this video I am going to be showing you how to use the same thing in a Linux operating system. So without wasting much time let's get started. So here I am this is my Kali Linux system working under VirtualBox. Now to use the Tor service we need to install two tools one is the Tor browser uh, one is the Tor service sorry so for that we'll type sudo apt dash get install Tor and press and enter now I have already installed Tor in my device so it says that Tor is already in the newest version now I need to install another service named proxy chains. Now by the way proxy chains comes built into Kali Linux. If you are using any other Linux distro then you may need to install this software. So press and enter. It says that it's already in the newest version. All right. Now clear the terminal. Now what you need to do is edit a config file of proxy chains. It resides in the etsy folder. So we'll, we'll move to that folder. We'll type cd space slash etsy. And we'll list the contents. And this is the config file. So I am using leafpad text editor to edit this. And once it opens, what we need to do here is, here you can see dynamic chain. You just need to remove the hash before it. And here you can see strict chain. You just need to add a hash before it. All right. Now scroll down to the bottom. Here it says that Sox 5127.0.0.19050. Just copy this one and in the new line just paste this one. But you need to change this 4 to 5. Alright. Now once all these are done, select file save file quit all right relaunch the terminal now once the terminal is relaunched what we'll do is we'll start the tor, tor service so we'll type service tor start and press and enter and we'll wait for the tor service to start it has already started now we'll tap proxy chains proxy chains space our browser name I'm using Firefox browser you can use any other browser you want so I'll wait for it to open it will take some time I'm actually using a low quality CPU so it will take some time so as you can see my Firefox browser has opened now while using Tor you will not use we will not use the Google search engine but we will use the DuckDuckGo search engine because Tor is meant to provide as much anonymity as possible but Google has a habit of tracking you so we don't want ourselves to be tracked we want to use a search engine that that doesn't track us so DuckDuckGo is a solution for this so you have to type DuckDuckGo.com and press and enter now since our traffic is being routed through different proxies as I said it will create proxy chains so the internet connection will be a little bit slow 
doesn't matter the lesser the internet speed the greater the anonymity you are achieving the greater the number of proxies through which your traffic is being routed all right now as you can see the page has almost loaded up all right now that the page has loaded we will now type in what is my ip and we'll search for it as i said the internet connection will be a little bit slow and it says that my ip address is 2122166.6 in anonymous proxy all right now you can also confirm this just type dns leak test and search for it it will also give you the dns server information now select this first link dns leak test I'll wait for it to open as I said it will take some time and it says that to hello 212.21.66.6 Magdeburg Germany and here is the map you can as you can see the Google Maps information where but I am such I am surfing internet from India but my IP address has changed my country has also changed now click on standard test and this will give you the DNS survey information so I'll wait for it to open as I said it will be a little bit slow doesn't matter there is nothing to worry and here as you can see it says that country is Germany ISP is level 3 communication I am using Reliance Geo but my ISP has changed now you can also get new results like for example if you want a new IP address just minimize the browser open up another terminal window and type in here service or restart and press and enter this will restart the Tor service now again go back to your browser and search go to DuckDuckGo as I said the connection will be a little bit slow there is nothing to worry so I'll wait for it to open as you can see the page has loaded up again I'll type DNS leak test and search for it select the first link which is the official link DNS leak test dot com and now as you can see my IP address has changed once again to 5.1 48.165.13 from Switzerland and as you can see the Google Maps location I think it's Lucerne or whatever I don't know the actual pronunciation but the country is Switzerland now click on standard test you will see that the these results have also been changed so I'll wait for it to appear and it says that as you can see the IP has changed the country is Germany alright let's do the same thing once again open up another terminal type in your service tor restart press and enter and it has been restarted so open up the browser type in here dns leak 
test this is the website I am directly visiting it as I said it will the speed will be a bit little bit slow so nothing to worry if it is taking too long then we can search for the search for it so as you can see it's taking too long so let's open DuckDuckGo okay it has opened the website has opened now it says that 46.182.106.190 from Netherlands and now click on standard test let's see the changes in our DNS server so the as you can see the country hasn't changed but the IP is changing as you can see now it's 8.0.18.134 previously it was something else all right so as you can see that you have achieved the anonymity needed and in the terminal everything is recorded so to edit the changes back you have to move to the etc directory once again ls leaf pad proxy change dot conf and just put a hash before it and remove the hash over here you need to revert the changes back to its original form after you have used the tor service now click on file save file quit so that was a small video tutorial on how to use tor browser i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please like comment share and subscribe and bye for now